Get ready for your daily dose of marketing strategies and tactics from entrepreneurs with the guile and experience to help you find success in any marketing capacity. You're listening to Marketing School with your instructors, Neil Patel and Eric Sue. Welcome to another episode of Marketing School. I'm Eric Su. And I'm Neil Patel. And today we are going to talk about seven metrics you ought to monitor inside of Google Analytics. So the first metric I like to look at uh, is my bounce rate, right? You know, are people bouncing off my page immediately when they visit it? Um, You know, do I need to figure out, do I need to deliver a better experience? So I'll look at my bounce rate. Uh, Basically, I'll I'll look at my, my landing pages as well and other pages that I have to make sure that, you know, more or less, you know, things aren't out of whack and one page just has an extremely high bounce rate on the others, you know, don't. I like looking at search traffic and I monitor it daily. I compare it week over week. So if today's Monday, I compare it over today's, uh, this Monday over last Monday. And what that tells me is if things are flat, if they're going in a downward trend. And this is really important because sometimes a developer will make a silly little mistake. Uh, with my website recently, I have so many different languages. We started redirecting people. So if you're, if you speak German and that's your primary language, we direct you to the German version of our blog. What ended up happening is the developer also redirected the Google bot that caused them to index our German posts using English title tags and meta descriptions. And it caused all of our traffic to tank. I picked it up within three days of our traffic tanking. If I didn't monitor that on a daily basis, I wouldn't, you know, know that and it would be too late. And then our traffic would pretty much go down to close to zero. And then I'd be like, what the heck? Where's all the revenue in the business? All right. Number three is I like to look at my conversions. Duh. Right. If I hopefully you have some kind of goal conversions or uh, e-commerce conversions set up on your site, but you should be looking at your conversions over time. Where are they coming from exactly? Are you trending in the right direction? Uh, And so on and so forth. So there's a lot you can do. You can slice and dice around uh, your goal conversions or completions and your e-commerce conversions. Um, So just make sure you're monitoring them. I also like looking at my time on site. I continually do tests on a weekly basis to try to increase that. The reason being is if it gets high enough and you have strong loyalty, your user metrics increase and your search engine rankings drastically increase, you're also much less likely to get hit by, let's say, a Google Panda penalty. So continue to look at your time on site because if your time on site and your bounce rate are through, well, if your time on site is low and your bounce rate is through the roof, Eventually, your rankings are going to tank. Number five, I like looking at my site speed. So um, site speed, you go to behavior, you go to site speed. Take a look at how things are going because site speed is a ranking factor. And I, more importantly, uh, it's an experience factor, right? If your site speed is out of whack, something is you know bogging things down, you should be looking at it and you should be making adjustments to it um, because, well, again, think about how your experience affects other people, right? How do they remember you? Oh, yeah, Neil, he's got that slow site. Number six, I look at social referrals. This is really important if you're spending money on social media. For example, I used to spend a ton on Facebook advertising just to buy Facebook fans. What ended up happening is my Facebook traffic went all the way up to two to 300,000 visitors a month, which is a shit ton of Facebook traffic, all the way now down to roughly 30,000 visitors a month. This just shows that Facebook has been tightening up their algorithm. For that reason, I will never spend any more money, at least within the U.S., to buy Facebook fans. All right. And number seven, last but not least, I like looking at my campaigns. Um, so, you know, more more specifically, my campaign keywords. So um, I guess that's not so much a metric. So I'll talk about looking at my, my kind of goal conversions in uh, campaigns. Actually, we talked about goal conversions already. Let me switch it. I like looking at my, my pages per session, right? So when I look at uh, you know specific landing pages that are driving traffic, I like looking at the ones that are doing above average um, because you know I, I can assume that you know the first page um, is driving some kind of behavior where it's driving a really good experience and it's trying to get people uh, to view more. So maybe there are some lessons that I can pull from it and something that I can duplicate from you know a successful page. Uh, so that's seven, right? Yeah, that's seven. So that's seven. So that's it. And we'll see you tomorrow. This session of Marketing School has come to a close. Be sure to subscribe for more daily marketing strategies and tactics to help you find the success you've always dreamed of. And don't forget to rate and review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you in class tomorrow right here on Marketing School.